We want something slow or something fast? Fast? Yeah. Fast? Slow? In between? Okay. We'll do a fast one. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare
Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram. Hare Krishna, Hare 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय श्री राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल 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 जय जय श्री राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय हर कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हरि हरि हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 शीघ्रीघुरा पदे कमल शीघ्र वैष्णव 
Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahaganad Raganatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sarvadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishaka Hey Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gotesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vishabhanu Suti Devi Pranamami Hari Priya Vansha Kalpa Tarubhisya Kripa Sindhu Paebhacha Petitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namaho Nama Shri Krishna Chaitana Prabhu Nithananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sivasari Gauda Bhaktu Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna The uh, Mahabharata is a very little known pastime which centers around the Pandavas. And uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, right after the battle of Kurukshetra, when uh, Yudhisthira Maharaj had um, taken the throne, now he was the ruling monarch of the entire world. The Kurus had been defeated and the Pandavas had been victorious by the mercy and presence of Sri Krishna himself. Of course, without the presence of Krishna in this particular pastime, and of course, in general, as a principle, there's no such thing. <laughs> Krishna is that principle that is all perfect and the principle of all success. So now, Yudhisthira Maharaj, he's not like the today's kings who, because when they get office, they promise so many, uh, you know, benefits for the people in general, but that's just a campaign speech. That's just to get them in office. And now they're in office, they don't care. <laughs> and um, it's just lining the pockets with, you know, Lakshmi. But the Vedic kings, and of course Yudhisthira Maharaj is one of the most prominent, they actually had a genuine concern about the welfare of the citizens. And that was their main service, to somehow or other rule in such a way that the citizens would have everything they needed materially, and at the same time have whatever benefits or facilities necessary to move forward towards the goal of life, which was Premu Pumartha Maha, love of God. So Yudhisthira Maharaj, he had that mindset. Of course, he always had that mindset. But Krishna arranged everything so Yudhisthira Maharaj could take the throne. Now he's thinking, um, I'd like to see or like to hear from the citizens whatever their, their concerns are. So in that way, I can help them and also understand how to rule even more effectively. So he created what is called an open door policy. He allowed for anyone and anyone to come and see him and then speak their mind. And he arranged it in such a way that uh, Bhim, powerful brother and both powerful Kshatriya, was the secretary. And he would meet the people, listen to them, and then see if they, he could arrange for Yudhisthira to meet them. So this was the arrangement. So Yudhisthira is there, and Bhim is there in the door to greet people and see what is on their mind. So one man, he comes, he says, oh, 
Dean, I saw something I can't explain. And I don't know how it happened. There must be a reason. I know Eudistir is all-knowing. I'd like to talk to Eudistir. Beam, he checked and he saw, oh, Eudistir, actually he is, right now he is not available, but if you like, you can tell me. So the man started to speak. He said, I thought I'd build a garden and make a nice garden. So I got all the ingredients, shrubbery, flowers, planted trees, made a beautiful, beautiful garden with varieties of flowers and places where people could sit and, and just simply enjoy the atmosphere. It took me a long time. But then I decided, well, you know, the garden needs protection. So I thought I'd build a wall around the garden to give it protection. So I worked along with others and we built this very strong and nicely built wall all around the garden. But just after we finished building, something happened that I can't understand. The wall itself started to encroach on the garden and destroy the garden. I built the wall to protect the garden and the garden was being destroyed by the wall. What's, what's the answer? Beam said, hmm, I think you better go see Eudistir. So he arranged for him to go to see Eudistir. So after some time, a second man comes. Oh, Beam. I can't understand this. It's really simple, but still it's confusing to me. I need to see Eudistir. I'm sure he can help me. Well, I'm sure he's busy right now, Beam said, but you can just tell me and... Maybe I can help you. Okay. So I had this big bucket of water and I decided to take the water and put it into these equal amount of cups that would take up the whole bucket. So I emptied the whole bucket into five big cups and the bucket was empty. And the cups, each one was filled to the top. And then I decided to put the water back from the cups into the bucket and when I did, the bucket was only half filled. When I started, there was a full bucket, put it in, didn't spill any, filled up five cups, put it back, bucket's half filled. What's the answer? Beam said, hmm, well, I think this one's for you, Mr. <laughs> so he goes, a third man comes, and he says, oh, I'm, I'm, I wasn't dreaming. I saw it. <laughs> I need an explanation. What's that? Well, Bima said, well, I'll, I'll try to help you. There was this huge, big, very strong, sturdy wall. And then I saw this big elephant. And he was coming right at the wall. He kept walking really fast. And he hit the wall, he broke the wall, he went right through the wall, except his little tail got stuck. This big elephant, he goes easily through the wall, but when he gets almost through, his tail stuck. Why? Bim was thinking, maybe I should have stayed home today. Because <laughs> another one I can't answer. <laughs> So go ahead and see you this there. Okay. So he goes in. And then a fourth man comes. Bhima. Interesting experience I had. Can you help me? What's the explanation? Well, I was thinking, you know, let's go to some place I've never been before. Maybe you have that experience and you want to go somewhere you've never been before just to see what it's like. So I thought I'd do that. So I just kept walking and walking and walking and walking and walking and walking to see where I could see. And I was, as I was going, I noticed it was getting darker and darker and the atmosphere was changing. And then I kept walking and walking and then it got very dark. And then I saw all around me these big, huge 
bo- mountains. It was very, very, very scary, very foreboding. And then I looked and I realized all around me it was dark and there was these mountains and there was nothing else. And I was thinking, where am I? I got to get out of here. So I started to run. And all there was was rocks and mountains. There was nothing else. No people, no trees, nothing. And I'm running and I'm running and I'm thinking, and I'm not not getting out. It's still dark and it's still very frightening. But then when I was running, I looked down. I thought, what's this? There's a beautiful green creeper coming out of the ground. There's nothing else, only rocks and darkness. So I thought, thought, let me pull it. So I grabbed it and he pulled it. And as soon as I pulled it out of the ground, all the mountains disappeared. The sun came out. Everything was bright and I felt happy. What's the explanation? Go see Yudasev. (laughs) He couldn't answer either. So after some time, Bhim goes in to the room where Yudasev is. And Yudasev is all alone. Yudhisthir, yes? Did you see those four men that I sent? What four men? I didn't see any four men. Oh, those four men. (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) Krishna will soon leave the planet and Kali Yuga will begin. Those four men represent Kali Yuga. Beam is interested. Now explain their stories. Yes, the first one with the garden and the wall. The citizens of the state will be very faithful and think we will elect elect leaders that will take care of us and protect us. But the citizens elect the leaders and the leaders kill the citizens. They make a nice garden. The wall is there to protect it. But what happens? The wall destroys the garden. So in Kali Yuga, governments will be like that. <laughs> they will simply take all of your money. And if when you're broke, they'll take more. <laughs> this is Kali Yuga. It's just the way it is. The buckets, the five glasses, and then the, the buckets. Yudhisthira starts to feel real sad. He said, this is very sad. Parents teachers and well-wishers will spend time and energy to help their children, but the children will not appreciate that. They will not appreciate their parents. You start with a full bucket, you put it into five cups, you put it back, you only get half. This is a feature of Kali Yuga. The children will not appreciate their parents and even may even reject their parents, although their parents will do everything to help them. Kali Yuga. The third one, the the wall and the elephant. If you have money, you can get justice. If you you can't, you don't have any money, even if you're innocent, no justice. The elephant goes through the wall, but his tiny little tail gets stuck. The little guy, he has no freedom. So you can buy justice if you have money, just the way Kali Yuga is. That's why all of these so-called big people who commit what we call legal crimes, (laughs) they never get punished because they buy their way out. Happens all the time. This is Kali Yuga. And the fourth man with the rocks, the darkness, and the beautiful green creeper, Eunice there said, this is something wonderful. That darkness represents the age of Kali. Kalair doshani di rajan, asti eko mahagun, kirtana eva krishnasya mukta sangam pranam vajat. In this age of Kali, Kalair doshani di, dosha means false, nidi means ocean. There's an ocean of fault. So many problems. If you simply read Srimad Bhagavatam, especially 12th canto, you get a little idea of what the upcoming age is like. That's why Srila Prabhupada would say, finish up in this life, don't stay around. <laughs> Things are not going to be improving. But 
and Kaler Dosha Nidi Rajan, he's talking to he's talking to Yudhisthira, I'm sure he's talking to Pariksha Maharaj. Sukadev Goswami is speaking. And then he says, Asti Echo, well, there is one boon. What is that? Asti Echo, not only is it boon, it's maha it's a ha, maha goon. Maha goon, he says. Is Kirtana Eva Krishnas, yeah. <laughs> that in this age, chanting of the holy names, Mukta Sangam Parambuja, that one can be free from all material desires and attachment and enter into the kingdom of God. Simply by the power of the holy name, that is the mercy. So that little green creeper amongst that, all of that darkness represents that light in this in this dark age of Kali Yuga. The chanting of a heart in the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare Hare. So, how much faith do we have in the holy name? How much time do we give to the holy name? How much, when we give with our time to the holy name, how, how enthusiastic are we to chant the holy name? All these add to the mercy that will flow from the holy name as we chant the holy name. Krishna's holy name, as it says, Goloka Prema Dan, Harinam, Shankirtan, Ratin Jan, Milo Kene Upai. And that this is coming from the spiritual world. The holy name comes down from the spiritual world into the hearts of the pure devotees of the Lord. And because they live according to the glories of the holy name, they make the holy name their life and soul. But they are not satisfied with that. They want to give that holy name to everyone. So from the hearts of the great souls, they distribute that holy name as the mercy, as the mercy of the Lord everywhere and anywhere. So if we are recipient, as someone used to say, Srila Prabhupada, give me your mercy. Prabhupada said, I'm giving, just take it. <laughs> take it, it's available. The sun is out, can't you see? No, I'm in my dark room. <laughs> Get out, <laughs> open the blinds. <laughs> so this is the uh, mercy that is manifested in this age. There's two things that are actually very, very sacred in this age. Along with the holy name is Sadhu Sangha, or association of devotees. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastri Hoi. Lava Matta, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva City Hoi. And in the association of devotees, one can start to realize what is the real value of life, and that is to Shravanam, Kirtanam, Smarnam, Krishna, or Vishnu, Vishnu, Svavanam, Kirtanam, Smarnam. To hear, to chant, to remember, and to also to share in the glories of the Holy Name. This is the power and this is the mercy in this age and anyone who takes it up with enthusiasm, not as a side thing, not as something that what we do when we have time, when we make it the number one, and Krishna, he's like that. If you want Krishna, he has to be number one. He doesn't like second place. <laughs> it's just the way he is. He's kind of proud. That's what we, but because he's, because he's great, he can be proud. <laughs> There are people who are great and they're proud, but who cares? <laughs> but there's people who are not great and proud and that's even worse. <laughs> and then there's people who are not great and not proud and that's better. <laughs> but Krishna, he's great and he's proud of it <laughs> because he, he knows that anyone who makes me first, I make them first. <laughs> yeah, that's Krishna. He's very merciful, very kind. So we have to make Krishna the first in our life, and then life becomes what we call nice. <laughs> nice. When you have the most powerful living being in existence, the source of all source, sources, the cause of all causes, Ishwar Parma Krishna Satchit Ananda Vigraha Anadir Adir Govinda Sarva Karna Karna. When you have a friend like that, what else do you need? <laughs> but we have to take time and make Krishna that, that person who is the most important. And therefore, chanting of the holy name really indicates 
our interest in Krishna. When we chant, because we don't chant just to simply take up time or simply to have some nice melodies. We chant in order to glorify the Lord and to petition the Lord to please come into our hearts and our minds. That's the reason for chanting. We're calling to the Lord, please come. He's there, but he doesn't, he, he hides himself. He likes to hide. It's a nice story. Have you ever played hide and seek in your life? You know, kids always do that. How many of you do that? If there's anybody here who hasn't played hide and seek, you should go back to childhood because <laughs> you missed something. <laughs> but you can play it when you're adults too. So. so it says that all the games that children have ever played in their life have come from Krishna. I mean, that's the good ones, not the ones that are not so good. So the spiritual world is the source of everything. As Prabhupada said, the material world is simply a reflection of the spiritual world because in the material world, everything is chintamani. Everything is you know, satchit ananda, vigraha. So there was a game, it's described, that Radharani was there, Krishna was there, and Radharani's friends, the gopis, were also there. So Radharani was the one that had to hide and find everyone. So everyone, they went to their respective hiding places. Radharani was hiding her eyes, and Krishna was finding the best hiding place. So the game begins, Radharani comes out, and she's looking this way and that way. Now, she easily catches the gopis. They're so easy to catch because they have so much love for Radharani that when she gets near them, they laugh. <laughs> they can't keep quiet. Just by her presence, they feel it and they, they give themselves away and she catches all the gopis so easy. But then again, there's Krishna. It's not so easy. So she's trying to find Krishna and Krishna. Every time she gets closer, Krishna hides in another place. He keeps going farther away. And she can't catch him. And she's getting a little bit unhappy. I gotta catch this rascal. So she keeps going and trying this way, this way, and that way, and this way. And Krishna keeps changing hiding places. And she starts thinking, I'm gonna have to use the ultimate weapon. <laughs> so she starts singing. And Radharani is so beautiful. She's expert at singing. And of course, when she sings, it's pure love. So she's singing, what is she singing? Hare Krishna. <laughs> she's singing the Maha Mantra. And then Krishna hears, and guess what happens? He freezes, he can't move. <laughs> he's stuck, he's like, you know, it's just like. And then she catches him, he said, I caught you. And then he says, well, you cheated. <laughs> you know, you used that, that wasn't fair, you cheated. <laughs> And she said, no, you're just a bad loser, that's all. <laughs> so here's the, here's the secret Radharani teaches, Radharani teaches us to try to catch Krishna by, you know, offering our bhakti in the glorification of Krishna's holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. So we all hear that, we all know that, we all are chanting Hare Krishna. But that's not enough. It's really not enough. Prabhupada said, he said, 16 rounds, he said, why not? He said, 16 rounds on the beads, innumerable rounds off the beads. In other words, kirtana, satatam kirtanam tumam. In other words, chant always the Hare Krishna Maha. And when you do that, you're always with Krishna. Every minute. You're, and what do you get? Complete satisfaction and peace. Now the world is trying to scare everybody, thinking that, oh, it's so dangerous out there, and we can't do this, and we can't do that, and if you do this, something bad will happen. So the fear aspect is it's increasing, and then it decreases, and it increases. The barometer goes up and down. 
sometimes people are very free. And it, this is a lot of this, depending on where you're from and what you're doing. But when you're with Krishna and chanting, fear is gone. There's no fear. Fear simply runs away. So that's, uh, and that's a big thing, because in this age, you know, there are so many reasons that the material world works in such a way as to create so many difficulties. But with Krishna, everything is nice. <laughs> and Krishna protects. He protects his devotees. And that's the most important thing. He likes to protect his devotees. There's one story where two devotees were asked by Srila Prabhupada to go and preach in Bangladesh during the the Bangladeshi War in 1972, I believe it was. And uh, so they had to go into a war area, but they came to see what they could do. It, it was a little bit of an adventure. It was a, it was quite quite dangerous, but Prabhupada thought they could do it, and they were eager. In those days, when Prabhupada asked you to do something, you thought this is the greatest opportunity in the world. Prabhupada asked me to do this. It didn't matter what he said. And just to have a, a request from Srila Prabhupada was considered to be something wonderful, something sought after. If Prabhupada gives me a mission and tells me what to do, just how fortunate I am. Yeah, that's the way it was. It was one 19-year-old boy from America. He, he just joined. Prabhupada said, go to Germany and open up Germany. He did, all by himself. His name was Shivananda. And while he was there, he gradually, 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 it was difficult because Prabhupada was amazed that anything could possibly, he said, you know, it's so easy to spread Krishna consciousness around the world, but in Germany, <laughs> he didn't have much faith that it would ever happen there. <laughs> it's a very materialistic country, super materialist. But Shivananda was able to make some contacts, start some programs. He had a little cartels and a few flyers, and he did it. And then the whole German Yatra gradually expanded and became one of the major Yatras in Europe for a long time. Many great devotees came out of Germany. So that's how Prabhupada did it. He would give you a mission, mission impossible. <laughs> <laughs> but then the devotees thought, well, you know, it was an adventure. So let's try it, because Prabhupada said it. And, uh, what was I saying? I went off. Huh? Bangladesh. Okay. So Prabhupada gave him that. And it was pushed to Krishna Maharaj and Brahmananda Maharaj. And they both went. So while they were there, they were preaching to whatever Hindus they could find. And trying to, because the war was going on. And it was getting more dangerous. And Prabhupada started to think, maybe I should ask these devotees to come back. He was getting concerned. So he started sending letters, but the letters were not going through. And then no, then none of the letters were reaching. And Prabhupada wasn't hearing from them, and they weren't able to reach Prabhupada. But some of the people that they were preaching to said, uh, you know, I think it's time for you guys to go. It's kind of dangerous. So they thought, all right. So there were buses that were going out of the country, taking the refugees out. So they thought they'd get on one of the buses. But the problem was that when it got to the border, the Islamic army would check the buses and see who was on there. And if they found anybody they didn't like, they'd take you out and shoot you. <laughs> so here's this two sadhus riding on the bus. <laughs> and they immediately spotted him, took him off the bus, and put him in the front of a firing squad. Yeah. And they were about ready to shoot them. And then Brahmananda, he, all of a sudden, he gets really animated takes out his beads, he still has them, he waves them in the air and he starts chanting really loud, the Hare Krishna mantra. And then uh, Pushta Krishna gets the message and starts doing the same thing. And then something happened, it's called Krishna's mercy. And the Islamic army got either confused, the leader came and said, all right, get out of here, get on the bus and go. <laughs> Put him back on the bus and left. Uh, simply by the... Pr the Maha Mantra is there to protect. And they were really chanting. I mean, when you're in that situation, it's not like, you know, nice, ordinary, meditative japa. 
It's like from the heart and from the mind, from every part of your body. <laughs> so, yeah. This story kind of illustrates, and there's many, many similar stories, how the, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, as Srila Prabhupada said, is the panacea. We use that word many times. Panacea means something that covers everything for all ills. So if you have faith in the holy name, then, then when you chant with that faith, and that is the key, and then Krishna is there to give you protection, give you shelter, and at the same time give you his association. So that is our good fortune. It's the light and the darkness. As that verse says, Kaleer dosha nidi asti echo. It doesn't say, you know, you know, two, it says one, one benediction. And that is chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So we're in a very transitory times where people are not sure which way the direction of life is going now. But for devotees, there's no confusion. <laughs> Hare Krishna. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. Prabhupada would say, chant, chant, chant. People would say, can't, can't, can't. Prabhupada would say, they're saying can't, but they won't say Krishna. <laughs> so, for whatever reason. But when we associate with devotees and get the mercy of that association, then the enthusiasm, as it says, Shri 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 Sharadhanasya Vasudeva Kataruchi Shanriya Seva Vipra Punya Tirtana Seva Nat, that when you serve the devotees, then the mercy of the Holy Name and the mercy of Krishna's pastimes, activities, forms, qualities, all become a active interest in your life. You get an you get an attachment to hear and chant the glories of the name. Simply by Vaishnav Seva. So Lord Chaitanya he emphasized that amongst actually Lord Chaitanya gave that much credit, as much credit as he, he did for the holy name as serving Vaishnavas. How important he gave that. He out of the five main principles hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam, serving the devotees, associating and serving devotees, chanting the holy names, worshiping the deity form of the Lord and living in a holy place. Lord Chaitanya emphasized two, chanting Hare Krishna and associating with devotees amongst all of the five. But out of the five, of course, he was always chanting Hare Krishna, but he gave so much importance to Vaishnava Seva. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would love to associate with his devotees and serve his devotees. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Gaya and met his spiritual master Ishwar Puri, he came back. And now he had f taken formal initiation, playing the role of a devotee in the, Lord, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the world, although he was the Lord himself. He showed by example when he came back. What did he do? He was doing menial, he was getting the prasadam for the devotees. He was washing their clothes, he was folding it, taking, and doing whatever little services he could just to show by example how important it is to associate and serve with Vaishnava. And there's where the holy name really springs. Because when Lord Chaitanya sees that the devotees are serving each other in a very cooperative way, he blesses that whole mood with his mercy. And then when we chant the holy name, it's something different. <laughs> it becomes something wonderful instead of just an exercise. <laughs> so that's how these two things, which are the essence of our practice of Krishna consciousness, become prominent. In Sadhu Sangha, uh, Lord Chaitanya, actually he gave three principles. He left one out. Namruchi. Vaishnav Seva and Jiva Doya. Jiva Doya means take the mercy, 
give it to those who need it. In other words, those who are outside of the realm of devotional life, try to somehow or other use whatever abilities, talents you have to benedict others. And if you have the desire, Krishna will show you the way. Because that's how Krishna consciousness works. When you have a desire and you're eager to fulfill that desire, Krishna appears and gives you the intelligence. Because he says, If you want knowledge, I give it. If you want forgetfulness, that's me. And if you want remembrance, that's me also. So that knowledge to serve is coming from Krishna himself directly. He says that in Gita, in the 15th chapter. Just to make it, let you know that he is the source of everything. Our desires, we can desire, our desire is somewhat independent of Krishna. But he allows that. But as soon as we make that desire, we can't fulfill it. It's him that fulfills the desires. By giving us the facility we need to fulfill that desire. He's even, he's even fulfilling the desires of those who, who are against him. Prabhupada would always say that even the atheists, they get very logical and see, seemingly sound arguments why God does not exist. Where do they get that knowledge from? Krishna. <laughs> Krishna gives them the intelligence. Says, oh, you don't want to know me? Okay, here's, here's, here's how, I can, how you can explain that I don't exist. <laughs> yeah, because that's what they want. You know, so he's fulfilling that desire also. So how much more will he fulfill the desire of his devotee, which is in line with his desire also? So that's the main thing, that he is more eager to fulfill his devotee's desire because he wants his devotees to come back to him in loving devotional service. So the holy name is really uh, the panacea, or we might say the means for all. And I would add one thing. And maybe you don't like this, but I'll say it anyway. <laughs> That's just the way I am. <laughs> Is that chant early. Chant early. Chant as early as you can. In other words, try to finish your 16 rounds before breakfast. I know mothers have children. They also have family responsibilities. It becomes hard. But you'll see a qualitative change in your Krishna consciousness when you chant early. How many of you are chanting early in your rounds? Anybody? Oh, okay. Anyone? Yeah, that's the idea. You'll see the difference when you start chanting early as opposed to when you don't. The whole day is different. One of the features that changes is that the day ahead of you becomes clear. You'll still get challenges because life is always like that. But you always be, you always have the intelligence and the understanding how to deal with the challenges. That comes with early japa. So, and if you can do it, 16 rounds straight, don't do anything else. Get up, and do whatever you have to do, allow yourself the time, chant 16 rounds. That is a qualitative difference in Krishna consciousness. And I say that not only by experience, but, but from the experience of so many devotees. There was one devotee, his father, he would get, he's a devotee, and his father was a devotee also. And his, his father would get mad easy. He'd get angry all the time, for whatever reason, you know, that was his nature. <laughs> you know, people like that. <laughs> so his son was telling him, you know, you know, why don't you just, chant your rounds early. <laughs> and kept telling him. <laughs> and then finally the father said, all right, he tried it. And he started to do it, and then he continued to do it. And after a while, he got rid of that anger. It wasn't there anymore. His son told me that personally. He, uh, he said, yeah, my, just by chanting his rounds. And, but that's just a small incident of how the holy name works. Because Prabhupada used to say, and he said it a few times, if you haven't completed your numerical vow for the day, 
then you can know that any time you'll be victimized by the material energy. When you complete your numerical vow, you're actually fulfilling the promise of the spiritual, to the spiritual master. And when you do that, the mercy of Krishna becomes available. Yeah, so there are more and more devotees are starting to wake up to this reality. Sometimes you have to adjust your schedule. Maybe you have to take rest a little bit earlier, whatever. But at least try for it, even if you can't complete it. But if you keep trying, Krishna will help you. I found it, you know, nobody talks to me until I finish 16 rounds. I'm just like, you know, Harani Kashipu until I finish my rounds. <laughs> Even after I finish, I'm more, I'm like Ravana then. Harani Kashipu was worse, but I've become like Godini. <laughs> you know, they don't bother me. <laughs> Close the door and I just, I just chant, that's all. Leave me alone. And I find that this is, you know, uh, and if I don't do it, I don't feel happy. It's just like, because I've been doing it for four years now. And if I don't do it, I think, oh my God, the day's wasted. So I found that, and there are some senior devotees who are pushing that to their disciples. And anyone who's doing it, they're qualitatively, you'll see the difference in your Krishna consciousness. Make sure you're not tired, because <laughs> sometimes you think, well, I need to get up earlier, but you still need to get enough rest where you can hear and chant nicely, because when you're tired, it's hard to hear nicely. But give yourself a little time and practice that. If you can do it, you'll see there's a tremendous difference in your Krishna consciousness, tremendous, with a capital T. <laughs> Big difference. So uh, the holy name is there, but try to avoid late night japa. That's the worst. You know, you got five, two rounds left, and it's nine o'clock, and you finish by eleven. You know. <laughs> oh God. Late night japa club. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of it. <laughs> that's that's horrible. <laughs> You're thinking, I just got to finish out because I'm tired. <laughs> or I want to go to sleep, you know. And, oh, Hare Krishna. <laughs> each, each name is like, it's like, oh, it takes so long. You chant two or three beads and you check again, see how many are left. <laughs> it's, it's forever. So avoid that if you can. <laughs> Not if you can, just avoid it. Even if you can't, avoid it. <laughs> it's important. So again, back to that. And Prabhupada would say also that the early morning hours are actually conducive to the chanting of the Holy Name. That's, that's the time. It's meant for, for meditation, for prayer, for glorification of the Lord. The day's activities, we have to take care of responsibilities. Me or me also find time to give my, give some quality time to spiritual activities, but generally most of us work, most of us have family responsibilities, so it becomes hard. If you chant early, then you find the rest of the day is also, it kind of flows nicely. Why is it, is it that? Because the Holy Name gives you the vision on how to arrange your day. It come, comes automatically. You seem to know what to do. It's not anymore like how to organize things. It just kind of, it's more natural. This is my experience. It's not Shastric, but it's just my personal experience. So, yeah. So this is the glory of our Krishna consciousness movement. The essence is really simple. Chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay. Anything, any comments or questions on anything? 
Yes, Mataji, Hare Krishna. I think we all have that problem because the holy name is pure and to capture the holy name is very difficult but Prabhupada said just practice. So there is some recommended what we say techniques that can assist you in helping bring about attention and that's the idea because Krishna, not Krishna, but Arjuna says in the Gita, Chanchalam Himana Krishna Pramati Balavadriha Tasyaham Nigaram Maya Mayur Dupaidam Saduskaram. The mind is restless, unsteady, turbulent, and very difficult to control, O oh Krishna. I think to control the mind is like controlling the wind. And Krishna responds by agreeing with Arjuna, but he says, Abhyasena tukuntaya vairagya chagriyate. That yes, the mind is like that, but he says constant practice and giving up sense gratification, in other words, detachment from material activities will give you a more controlled mind when you chant. <clears throat> but for preliminaries, what I do is when I begin my chant, I chant very slow. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. So I chant like that for maybe one or two rounds trying to hear nicely and just, in other words, more or less clearly chanting and clearly hearing, not trying to go fast. Because sometimes if you go fast, you lose the hearing connection. So the hearing connection comes when you connect with the sound. So that, mechan not mechanical, but mytholo mythological chanting helps you to connect. When I was in Mayapur, I met one devotee who decided to go wandering in the villages in Mayapur. And he came across some, some villagers who were connected with Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. They had been family members. And he was talking to them, and they told him that when Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati used to teach people how to chant, he would teach them in a very interesting way, using the fingers and counting on the fingers, he would say, Hari, Krishna, Hari, Krishna, 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 Hari, 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 Rama, Hari, Rama, and keep going like that. He said, he, the, the devotee said, they would do four rounds like that. And then gradually, because of that absorption, because it's slow and allows the mind to go into it, if you're tired and you go slow, it becomes a problem. But if you're not tired, it works nicely. And if you're tired, you need to go a little faster, obviously, just to keep the mind from wandering. But the idea is to hear. When the, when the mind catches the sound, then it becomes more easier to stay in that sound. And then even if the mind does wander, you can bring it back. So Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, wherever the, whenever and wherever the mind wanders, due to its unsteady and flickering nature, one should bring it back under the control of the self. So japa means practice. You just have to keep practicing. So that's what I find is helpful, is not, not being in a hurry to finish your rounds. That's one of the ways to, to uh, really destroy chanting, is thinking I have to finish because I have so many other things to do. Allow yourself so much time and then chant within that time period. But don't be in a hurry. Just be, be focused on Krishna. Prabhupada said, just hear. He gave us two basic principles. He said, try to hear 
And when you hear, the mind catches, and when the mind catches, then you're, you're connected to the sound, and it becomes more, it flows natural. And he said also we should chant like a, a baby crying out for mother. The baby knows only nothing but the mother. You can take the baby and pass it to the grandmother or so many other, and it'll still keep crying. But when it comes back to the mother, it's happy. So Prabhupada would say, yes, this is the mood of chanting, calling in a helpless way to Krishna. And that calling, if it's done in that mood, Krishna will come. Oh, my devotee's calling me. I should come. Yeah. Yeah, practice. Don't get discouraged. I have the same problem. But because we think about what we have to do for the day or something. There's always some thought that comes into the mind. But just dismiss it and go back to the sound. That's all. Hmm. Thank you. Anything else? Satyabama. Why do you keep saying that all the time? <laughs> if you keep saying it, I might even believe it. <laughs> you should say, Maharaj, you know, I've heard better classes than that. But since I'm here, <laughs> and then I feel better, <laughs> that means it gives me a chance to improve. So many times, you know, uh, I do like since you have suggested I've started doing my rounds in the morning, but still hearing is it just it, not it's, there. Hearing is not there, Guru Maharaj. Are you are you chanting audibly? Can you can you hear your own voice? Yes, but like if I chant chant loudly, like I can't chant chant for longer, so I have to like kind of a whisper. So I, I don't know how I do. That's good. As long as there is some sound being made. Prabhupada said you have to make some sound. Otherwise, it won't be, you won't be able to stay, you know, into the hearing. But practice. Well, the thing is, sometimes you have to walk around. If you, I mean, people who are more high energy, they find it more easier to hear when they walk. But the problem of walking is you have to maneuver and that at some kind causes distraction. So what I do, I, I sit and then I walk and then I sit and then I walk. I go back and forth. And when you're walking, don't, don't look at anything but the floor. If you look at the floor, there's nothing to see. But if you're looking... And if you're chanting in an area where you're doing your day-to-day -day work, you'll start thinking, oh, you're seeing this and you're seeing that, and you're reminded of what you have to do. So that's not, you know, that will take away from attention. Satyananda uh, Maharaj says, find that sacred space where you can be free from distraction. And practice. Don't get discouraged. Just keep practicing. One of the things that I find is if you close your eyes and then chant for in, in that way for a while, it becomes easier to hear like that. But if you sometimes, if you stay too long with your eyes closed, the mind starts wandering faster. There's a, there's a kind of thing, if you keep your eyes open, you see the external environment. If you close your eyes too long, the mind starts drifting this way and that way. So there's one devotee who was teaching how devotees how to do japa, and he, he talks about yogi eyes. Yogi eyes is like half. You don't see anything, but they're still open. <laughs> You've seen yogis. So that means you're not seeing, but at the same time you're not closed. If you can do that, it seems to be the more 
successful way to, to keep your mind from wandering. But japa is not so easy. It's a, the practical things that we use are simply, what we say, assistance. The whole thing is bhakti. <laughs> chant with feeling, chant with devotion. Chant with your mind, don't chant simply with your lips. That's not good enough. You have to chant with that mind. It's an active thing. So, in this Guru Maharaj, I want to ask you one thing. Like, like I also have other Krishna duties, and in the morning when you see Krishna, it's just so beautiful because he doesn't have jewelry or anything on. So, he, you know, Mangalati Darshan, like, it's beautiful to see him. And many times, like, maybe you might have felt like that as well, sitting in front of Radha Mahadhav in the morning, and there's just no jewelry, and he looks so effulgent. Uh, so, when you chant, you just look at him, and you just engrossed in his beauty, that how beautiful he's looking, how beautiful he's looking, and that, that's, just forget that's, about that, everything. That's a tent of japa. <laughs> <It's>, okay. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and you're fixed on Krishna. Okay. But then you're not hearing. Yes, you are. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> but if you're only doing that, you, you, that's, you should kind of also... <laughs> Here also. <laughs> but that is also devotion. That's one of the ways to, you know, to remember Krishna. It's just be attracted to his transcendental form. That's nice. That's bhakti. Practice. <laughs> yes. Hare Krishna. Uh, Hare Krishna. Why can't you say Vishnu Pad and not um, Krishna Pad? I mean, when they are saying Namo Om Vishnu, Vishnu, Vishnu Padaya. No, Vishnu Padaya. Yeah. Not Krishna Padaya. Krishna Padaya. If you say Krishna Padaya, you're saying you are Vishnu. But if you say Vishnu Padaya, that means you're honoring Vishnu. That was our discussion today. <laughs> Get that right. Pada, Krishna Padaya. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya. Not Vishnu Padaya. <laughs> padaya. <laughs> I'm sorry, I changed the subject. No, no, that was good actually because everybody heard it. But, um, when we say Vishnu Smaranam, why yeah, Vishnu and Krishna are the same. Yeah. yeah, I was asked this once, and I said, we just the, made... These are the mantras in the Vedas, just like when we do Tulsi. Vrindaya Tulsi Devai Priyai Kesavashta Shan Vishnu Bhakti Pradi Devi Satchavachayana Maho Namaha. So one devotee he was saying, well, he said to Prabhupada, why don't we say Krishna Bhakti? Prabhupada said, you can't change the word, the mantras in the... In the, in, the, in the scriptures. That was Prabhupada's response. And that was the same with Chaitanya, with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when one, someone was glorifying Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he was saying, he didn't like the word, um, what was it? He wanted to change it to Bhaktipad instead of Muktipad. And Lord Chaitanya said, that's nice, but you can't change the mantras in the, in the Vedas. The mantra said Muktipa instead of Bhaktipa. <laughs> so that's, that applies in that particular case. Why the mantras are there, the, the, the Shrutis, are, the Vedas are giving us. So the understanding is Vishnu and Krishna are the same. And Vishnu is simply... A, a manifestation of Krishna, and not the other way around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyone else? Yes. They're going to give you a microphone. Um, how in the morning would you have like? Is there, are there any practices to have the discipline to wake up and actually do rounds and not like fall back asleep? 
when I wake up sometimes and I want to do rounds, but I can't because I feel too tired or like, I see the time and I want to I want to go back to sleep because <laughs> there's a clock at my room. Is there anybody around you who can help you? <laughs> do you live with anybody? <laughs> Your father, yeah? Or do you have a mother too? I'm sure. <laughs> okay. So just say, say them, have them come in and wake you up. Get up! Of course, they have to be up too, you know. <laughs> we used to do, we used to have problems like that. We would have a devotee call us on the phone. And then the phone would ring, and you, and you make sure you keep the phone the distance away so you have to get up. <laughs> and we tell them not to stop ringing until somebody answers. <laughs> so these are three, because in the morning, you know, you're not really all there. <laughs> you just feel a little, you know, tired. But what I do, uh, what I do, there's a little trick. It's kind of a little physical thing. You can do this. Uh, it works. You set the, what they call the internal clock. You set the external clock and the internal clock at the same time. So you put your alarm, but you make the mental clock at the time you go to bed. And what you do is you lay flat on your back and you cross, cross your legs at your ankles and you think, 3.30. <laughs> And then when 3.30 comes, you'll get up, or whatever. Time to get up? Seven, oh my God, it's like day's over. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I can't tell you what time to get up, but the thing is, if you do that, set the internal clock, and, and it works. You just cross your legs at your, at your ankles, lay on your back, and think. Seven. And just meditate on it and then you go to sleep. And then you'll wake up at seven, it'll happen, and then you still have to make that choice. <laughs> but by setting the internal clock, you're actually saying that this is what I want to do. But pray to Krishna and ask him to help you. It's it's we can also do that. But I always found when, if, you, if I go back to sleep, I regret it later. <laughs> you know, I think, oh, I wasted my time. Because a lot of times, once you, you know, get up and you start moving, take your bath, get clean, cleansed, you're awake. It takes time to wake up <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> so how many hours do you sleep? Which one? Seven and six, that's 13. <laughs> seven, okay. Seven, okay, so after seven hours, that should be enough, right? Now you're young, you can, you can do seven easy. It's not hard, yeah. But when you start getting up and you say no to going back to sleep, you say, boy, I'm so happy I got up. Yeah. Practice. When I was in Duvrindavan, we, you know, the, t the community leader would come in and at three o'clock every morning with his cane, and if you were sleeping, he'd hit you with the cane. <laughs> Get up! It's three o'clock. It's late. Because the devotees would get up at two, two thirty. And if he got up at three, that was considered to be okay. <laughs> and if he got up at three thirty, you were really in Maya. <laughs> so late. It was so late because <laughs> Mangalarti was at four thirty, and he, he needed time to get ready. So, yeah, early to bed and early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy and wise. We used to make a joke, early to bed and early to rise, and your girlfriend goes out with the other guys. Because <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause, 
That's just a, a joke. <laughs> Don't listen to that one. <laughs> That's when we were kids, you know. You know, when you're kids, you do anything, and you know? it's like come up with all these things. <laughs> But yeah, it's true. It makes you healthy, wealthy, and Krishna conscious. <laughs> right. Because for devotees, the early morning hours are the best part of the day. It's good for meditation, good for prayer, good for anything devotional. Hmm. Oh, there's a question back there. Okay. How many, what did he say? How many gods are there? One. There's only one God. Everyone is in, all the other gods are an expansion of the one God. So God becomes two when he expands himself. That's called incarnation. So there is Krishna, expands to Radharani, Krishna expands to Baladev, Krishna expands to Lord Narayan, he expands to Lord Vishnu. They're all coming from Krishna. Ekala Isha Krishna Asabrita. There is only one God, everyone is the servant of God. But he has many forms. So the forms are not different gods, they're just the same God in different forms. That's all. Does that make sense? Okay, thank you. That was a great question. Thank you. Yes, Mataji. And some say we are, that's the reason, first place we want to live is material world. So there's nothing wrong. So I'm a bit confused. Bhakti contains liberation. Liberation doesn't contain bhakti, but bhakti contains liberation. So freedom from material world is included in the process of bhakti. So bhakti is the ultimate principle of liberation. And Prabhupada would say that when you're engaged in devotional service, you are liberated. Because devotional service is not part of this world. It's coming from the spiritual world. It's, it's, an, it's an energy of Srimati Radharani. She's Bhakti Devi. So you don't have to worry about liberation. That's included in Bhakti. Yeah, you just pray for Bhakti. And you and liberation will all of that. Yeah, that. Who who says that? There's one great soul. Uh, the one who wrote. Um, oh, what's his name? Hmm. Bilva Mangala Thakur. He says, Mukti, and Bukti, are standing at my door with folded hands, saying, "How can I serve you?" So in other words, one who is engaged in devotional service, mukti is there and bhukti. Bhukti means material enjoyment. The material happiness comes automatically when you are engaged in devotional service. You know that verse? Kunjala. There's a verse spoken by Bilva uh, Mangala Thakur. Mukti and bhukti. Or like maid servants of bhakti. If you have a, a thousand pounds, you have a hundred pounds. So mukti is included in bhakti. Anything else? Should we stop here? Should we have kirtan or should we have prashad? Kirtan.
<laughs> I know where to go. <laughs> He's the best. You want to leave? Okay. So thank you. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai.
हरे कृष्णा हरे Hare Krishna, 
बाल जय शुभ जय जागना जागना बाल जय शुभद जय गौरानता 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 जय गौरानता प्रभुपदा शिल प्रभुपद नित गोरा हरि गो हरि गो हरि गो नित गोरा हरि गो हरि गो हरि गो हरि गो नित गोरा हरि नित गोरा हरि गो हरि गो हरि बोल तगोरा हरि बोल 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 हरि बोल
His divine grace, hey, Sri Bhakti Vedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada, his consultant, Acharya, his divine grace, Srila Prabhupada, he, Jai Om Vishnupad, Paramahans Parivata Kacharja, Astutta, Sri Sriman, his divine grace, Srila Bhakti Saranta Saraswati Maharaja, he, Nitya Lila Pavistam, Gorky Shoda, Babaji Maharaja, he, Nitya Lila Pavistam, Vaishnava Sarabhama Jagannatha, Babaji Maharaja, he, Vaishnav Sabarboma, Vaishnav Bhakti Vinota Kurke, Prem Sikha Hoshi Krishna Toitana Prabhu Nathana Vishya Dvaita Gita Harsi Vasari, Gaur Bhakti Vrindaki, Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopina, Shamakund Radhakund Giri Govardhan Ke, Vrindavan Dham Ke, Navadvip Maya Pur Dham Ke, Jagannath Puri Puru Shottam Shetra Dham Ke, Ganga Maya Ke, Jamuna Maya Ke, Tulasi Maharani ki, Bhakti Devi ki, Samadeva Bhakti Vrinda ki, Sri Sri Radha Madan Mohan ki, Sri Sri Radha Madhava ki, Govinda ji ki, Sri Hari Nam Shankirtan ki, Nitha!
Glories to the assembled devotees. Glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to Shri Guru and Shri Gauranga. Hare Krishna. Kalpa Tarubhisha Kripa Sindhu Pahibhucha Bhita Nam Padane Bhyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namaho Namah. Prashadam ki. Kane Prabhu ki. Kane father Prabhu ki. Kane's mother ki. Kane ki. Haribo. Thank you.